And we're back! Our Zoltan ship is, uh, missing some of its Zoltan. Don't worry about it. Everybody is safe on my ship now. But, uh, seriously, we need to buy more crew. Okay. Oh, it's this event again. Their shields are down, they won't last long in the asteroid field. This time we took four hull damage. Oh, the civilian ship broke apart despite our best efforts. We're barely able to break out of the asteroid field ourselves. Still, you can repair four hull for 16 scrap at a shop. I think any shop in the game, even. But right now the repair cost is still going to be three per hull. So we made a profit of four scrap. Okay, you can make that jump from there, or we could, like, go around the back. Okay, cannot jump from here to here, so we'll start here. Okay. There's a strange bug. Can we assist in debugging? Let's listen to the NG problem. Found malfunctioning mantis. Believes it is human. Will receive input only from human. Danger evaluation extremely high. Provide assistance. I believe there's a blue event if you have a human. But as is, I think this event doesn't do anything for me. Good luck with your mantis, Sir Angies. <laughs> okay, the system appears to be quite peaceful. There's a store. We'll hit one more beacon before the store. Oh, crew members! If only I had gone to nodes in slightly different order. There's a human here. But an NG on for 32? Mercenaries for hire. Alright. You can man the engines, I guess. Yeah, they didn't start with any skill. So we have three crew members again. I don't know, maybe the NG should be a slightly more central location because it's good at repairing. But at the same time, like, manning the shields is not quite as good when you have a Zoltan shield. You want to dodge stuff to keep your Zoltan shield for as long as possible. Alright, the NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. There's that hacking again. Hacking and buy... I'll sell the Leto, maybe, and then buy even more fuel? No, I don't think we need... Hacking and two fuel. And then make it to the next store and buy more fuel. So yeah, lock down a system room while periodically disrupting the system and stunning crew. We've got a good number of drone parts now. I think I probably have to skip one of these six beacons at a minimum. <laughs> Let's just start from here. Alright. Nothing interesting. <laughs> oh. Another free Ion Intruder drone. That's what, 32 scrap for us? I'll take it. Hmm. I mean, last time I didn't accept a bribe. It was the wrong choice. I'm just gonna accept this one, especially because that had fuel in it. We're a little short on fuel this, at this moment. Oh! We can buy fuel for cheap! All of it? And <laughs> then there's a store. Hilarious. I probably didn't need to visit this store. Your scrap bars are weapons for you. You're about to raise shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. That's a lot of Zoltan. <laughs> One of them has weapon experience, but is the same price as the others. Let's see, breach missiles, fire beam, Pegasus missile. There's not really any. Oh, wait, I can sell this. I'm one scrap short of one of these crew members. I'm gonna sell the Leto for it. I know we have 30 missiles. But come on. Okay. You to shields, you to weapons. Or no, you to piloting. The uh, NG hasn't gained much piloting, uh, any piloting experience, and our extra good repair person is now slightly closer to the middle of the ship. Alright, let's save these stations, come to think of it. Let's 
skipped just the right number of beacons. Oh yeah, yeah, let's investigate a, a battlefield. But we find nothing. Mantis, I don't want to go to Mantis Homeworlds. We do have a rock crew member, which is way better than three Zoltan for fighting. Well, a rock crew member among a crew of four is better than having three Zoltan for fighting, but I really don't want to get boarded by Mantis. Let's go to the Zoltan homeworlds. Our own homeworlds. Yeah, Mantis are just famous for their boarding. Gee, I wonder why. It's the race that has 50% extra attack power on in the ship combat. Alright, intruders on board, they must have, uh, this is just what I was looking to avoid. They're all Zoltans. Let's just fight them. I realize we left our piloting empty. Uh, it doesn't matter where we aim the first- oh wait, it does matter where we aim the first shot. So that's plus the hull laser hitting afterwards. We'll take down their Zoltan shield. Because each segment the beam hits, I think, is going to be one damage. No, right. It actually doesn't matter where you aim the beam. It always gets two hits against the Zoltan super shield. But it is a two damage beam. Yeah, we missed our shot on their weapons. Now this NG probably needs to leave that room. Especially because when Zoltan die, they, um, explode. Let's actually evacuate both our crew members, get a little healing. We lost the level of oxygen. That's bad but acceptable. Alright, we've got to get back in there. Maybe get the NG out now, because they're about to start dying. Boom! Oh, I forgot to fire the hull laser, didn't I? I'm so focused on the Zoltan that boarded me. Alright, fire the halberd beam anywhere and they die. Beams can't be dodged. Ship explodes. We got a lot of stuff. Their border is still fighting, but uh... You know, it sucks to be fighting within the enemy med bay, which is what they were doing. It was excellent for us. Our NG will just fix up the oxygen real fast. Glad I got that buffer point. Um, return to save crew positions. Yeah, on easy, you can definitely afford the buffer point on oxygen way earlier than other difficulties. Most tempted to take oxygen to max level. But I think I'll get upgraded medbay just because of how many blue events it's involved in. And it might have been nice to heal up a little faster in that last battle. I could have lowered the power to the engines. Oh, there's a distress signal. Satellite defense system's gone haywire and crew Repair crew can't approach it without being fired on. They're asking for help to fix or disable it. We promise to help. The, our NG crew can remotely pair, repair its targeting system. I think this is... Is this the first time I've gotten any blue option at all in any run? Yeah. This is, that's, of course, a better reward than firing on their system. Okay, we're able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you thanks along with the reward. Creates a single super shield barrier periodically. But we don't have drone control. And we have hacking, which pushes us away from drone control, but it'll probably sell nicely. I am not disappointed with the reward. Plus, there was like, what, 50 scrap? Ooh. See, repairing 10 damage is overhealing. Don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. This is discounted even compared to the starting sector. Let's see, is it actually worth overhealing? 
If I pay 20 to get 8. Nah, I don't think that's worth it. Let's, let's take the repair for 5, though. Thanks for your business, no refunds. What are you gonna do, re-damage my ship? Okay. AI ship that's of no concern. Come on, we can stretch it from the engines to the weapons, can't we? No? Oh yeah, we can, actually. It's apparently easier if you start with the weapons. And I'm just gonna fire on an empty room. They're gonna get destroyed. Within I don't know how much time because our skilled crew member is making our weapons charge slightly faster. 36 scrap. I wonder if I have time to make this loop around. Probably. There are two nebula nodes in it. Alright. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, we're in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Our weaponry will be confiscated, but we don't have time for this. Oh, that's an ion weapon. That's kind of bad. It'll tear through our shield slightly faster. They also have mind control? Oh, right, but the asteroids. I'm gonna hold my fire until the asteroids take down their shield. And then we'll hit them with a, a big one. Yep. Okay, that's acceptable firing from them. Okay, actually, I think I do need to miss three shots with my hull laser three. Send in the Zoltan- oh. Oh, it was just an NG. I thought we had a rock there. Okay, so our actual shield is unpowered. Can you get hit by one more asteroid to take down your Zoltan shield? I don't want to waste half my laser. Or actually, would it waste the entire laser? Anyway, our actual other weapon came back up. Um... Okay, that seems fine. <laughs> okay. But what's the status of our ship? Man, after that cheap repair event. We sure took a lot of damage. So we can't dodge anything right now. We need to definitely get the shields back up as soon as possible so that uh, the asteroids don't just tear us apart. I am, of course, concerned about my low health crew members there. Oh, our Zoltan died. And our NG? Ah, I just, I cannot manage stuff once the ship has stuff going on in the inside. Okay, rock crew don't even take damage from fire. Am I losing the run here with 148 scrap in reserve? Okay, I don't think there's any more fire going on. Okay, the oxygen is on, but we lost our rock. I think I need to get to piloting and jump out of here. Come on, charge! Do we have a safe jump? I think the exit beacon is always safe. That'll give us time to repair our ship. Oh, we can sell missiles! We have more scrap, but will scrap save us? <laughs> Let's see, so what happened that our ship even took all that damage? Oh yeah, we missed three hull laser shots in a row. <laughs> so their Zoltan shield didn't go down, so I didn't disable their weapon. Also, our shield went down really early, and then asteroids just tore us apart. 
Oh yeah, because the NG got mind controlled in the shield. The mind control plus asteroid field combo. Oh, yeah, I should probably fix that. Is this Zoltan not even the one I had at the start of the run? I think I bought Ohm. Or no, I bought one that had weapon skill. Man, this guy, he's seen a lot. <laughs> You know, I should have upgraded shields by now. I think that's the problem. I'm in Sector 4 with default shields. I was riding too heavily on just the Zoltan shield itself. I would still like more crew, but I don't think I- and more hull, but I don't think I can save all the scrap for that. Oh, weapons are going to take a long time to come back. I'm actually a little surprised we were even able to finish off the enemy. I guess, was that all, like, fire damage after the fight ended? Or no, asteroids, probably. Man, that feeling I'm getting owned on easy. <laughs> In, like, the same place the Kestrel run got to. This is Sector 4. Or I guess I can jump to Sector 5. I am in fact on the exit. It's actually really uncharacteristic of me to neglect the shield upgrade, but I don't know if I've ever played Zoltan before. Alright, get healed up. You're now the pilot. Oh. Yeah, let's buy another power bar. And save crew positions. I think I just gotta go to th oh. That's bad. If I jump across this node to try to find what these two are though, I have to jump back across it too, and I'm low on fuel. Okay, it's a rebel automated scout. Disabled one of their weapons. Disabled their health. <laughs> okay, neither of those is a store. Oh, they knew someone would fall for their distress beacon decoy trap. Wait. My whole laser needs to hit their shields first. Or I could hack! I've completely forgotten about my hacking unit. Launch it at their shields. And then once I hit this button, all their shields will drain away. Ew. There is no systemless room to hit with the hull laser. They're powering up FTL. They're offering a surrender. It's guaranteed fuel. I know they like would have exploded in just a moment. Alright. 
Rebel Stronghold? Achievement unlocked. On a wing and a prayer. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, is there an achievement list here? It's not... Um, one of the Zoltan specific achievements. We'll have to check it after I get horribly murdered in this sector. Oh, there's a store! These have, like, crew, and then I can also buy repairs. It's got crew! We've got an experienced pilot, and somebody that has repair and melee skill. Buy all your fuel. Sell the shield drone. Buy the other human, why not? Alright, what was Ohm good at? Best at repairs, also okay at weapons. Are you the pilot? You are the pilot. You are melee. Alright. Both of these humans have melee skill. Oh, right. I'll also need to buy health. Alright, we're fine now. It's no longer flashing red, that means we're fine. <laughs> Distress beacon. Alright. It was to attract unwitting... Once their cloak goes down, we'll attach this to their shields. Once our weapons are almost charged, we'll drain away their shields. Hmm. Oh! Didn't get the magic pixel. I think if I just do this at an angle, it's a lot easier. Move slightly down in the shield room. Alright, yeah, have fun. <laughs> yep, and our hacking thing goes on cooldown. So we're taking damage, I'm not a fan of that, but... I mean, they're super dead. We're considerably more well-armed than they thought. I'm not gonna accept their surrender because I don't like them, because I had multiple missiles. So we didn't get fuel. It might have been better to accept the surrender. Let's see. With level two oxygen, if we just open these doors, they won't take suffocation damage while working on that breach. You could use some healing. I guess the room they were in got hit. Oh yeah, it was engines. <coughs> and then they repaired it, so that's why the engines aren't visibly damaged. Oh. Yeah, let's get more hull back at that store. minded the clone bay. <laughs> I seem to have trouble actually getting people back to the med bay in time to be healed. Don't think it matters which of these I pick next. Oh, I should have bought fuel at that store too. I could have afforded three. Oh, it's a small rebel refueling depot. You scan it. Your ship is being scanned multiple times, so they must recognize you, but there appears to be no combat-ready ships in the vicinity. The only message you receive is denial to your request to dock. Oh, okay. No fuel. For us. Another unmanned ship. It's got a lot of weapons. There's no need to hack anything. I guess I could hack their weapons if I wanted to be really safe. 
But I think we dodged their initial ion shot. Alright, two fuel, 48 scrap. I guess I can unpower hacking for now. So, the rebels were saying not to do anything with us, but we searched for a store anyway. Let's see, we found no results in the marketplace, but a small shuttle approaches. They released some supplies in your direction. We're not all friends of the rebel fleet. Stay strong. Would have been nice if their supplies had involved a little more fuel, but like, I'll take it. Thank you. I think all we have to do is disable their weapons and we're pretty safe. I don't like the way that the asteroid field is gonna strip away our Zoltan shield, of course. I think the laser hits immediately upon release and it's already charged, so I was actually letting the last bolt hit their shield. Alright, got him. Oh, and because we're in an asteroid field, we have to wait for the FTL drive to charge. Rebel fleet's approaching fast. I think I have to just go for the exit. Arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard. Scaffolding and construction zones filling the sector. Let's look around. Oh! There's a gigantic ship under construction. It's the second rebel flagship. This must be the secret shipyards where the first one was built. You've accidentally stumbled across it. Even if it's weakened state, the rebel ship powers up. Get ready. You've got to fight on your hands. They can't use their teleporter while our Zoltan shield is still up. We definitely want this to be down. I'm gonna unpower my med bay for now for the sake of hacking their shield. And then we want this weapon down as soon as possible. It shoots three missiles. Well, that happened. We'll sleep the laser across the tile that the enemy crew member is in, just so he takes some damage too. Oh, did I not actually hit the hack button? Alright. Disabled that. Wait. I fired the beam the wrong direction. It should have started in the shields. At any rate, any hit anywhere kills them now. That's a lot of rewards. Also, I was just randomly thinking, maybe in that one fight where I got really owned in the asteroid field, I should have tried to jump away. But also, like, my FTL wasn't charged, even after the fight was over. But maybe I didn't have full power in engines? Anyway, well, the second flagship was not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory, and you've crippled the rebel fleet's strength considerably. While you don't overstay your welcome, you quickly salvage choice bits of metal, drones, and even an unusual object or two from the wreckage and, or, and prepare to jump. Five fuel, five missiles, five drone parts, 61 scrap, a small bomb launcher, and the fleet is delayed by two jumps. And we unlock the Federation cruiser! As you're leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently the Rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL drive to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Sick. See, since the Rebel fleet was delayed, we can probably hit those bottom two nodes. Oh no, it's some intruders on board. They must have a super shield bypass unit, even though they have no teleporter! Okay. I said just die already. If uh, past history is any indication, that is what I will be doing. Preemptively vent these rooms too. Alright. 
was pausing to check my weapon charge. Because I want to, of course, hit this just a little before the weapons are fully charged. Maybe kill their clone bay? So that they don't revive after they're killed in my ship. Uh, trying to decide how I want to do this beam. Do I want to hit their oxygen? No, I think... I think this is the optimal beam right now. Alright, I breached them in their clone bay. Halberd beam can't breach, the whole laser is what did the breach. They're powering up their FTL, attempting to escape. Uh, they repeatedly hail, it looks like they want to surrender. I can probably get more scrap if I don't accept, but I'll accept it for five fuel. Oh, what? Um, I think my guy will win that fight. And my oxygen is working, so I can just close the doors and then heal up. Let's get the ship filled with oxygen a little faster by giving it more power. No, oh, and somebody should fix the doors. I guess you're closest. I could bring a second person over, but it's only one level of damage. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have accepted the surrender, but I have so much scrap. Alright, yeah, since they were delayed, I think we have time to maybe hit these two. Research station overlooks the pulsating star. A rebel ship spots us and moves into attack. I'm actually gonna hack their weapons. I don't think we actually should have trouble getting through their shields. Now we can see the charge on their weapons, and then when they're about to shoot, we can empty them. Oh! That pulse ionized their shield. Sick. And it's breached now. Which I think means it's a perfect time to hit their oxygen. Well, they've already got a breach on the ship. They're powering up the FTL, trying to escape. Their Zeltan shield is down. We just have regular shields. I wonder if I can get a crew kill here. They don't seem to be fixing their oxygen right away. And we did hack their weapons. Oh, wait, no, their oxygen's back up. Just kill them. Oh, and they were trying to escape. I would have needed to, like, somehow disable their engines. Allow us to leave with their lives? Nah, that's not enough fuel. <laughs> One? You joking? 51 scrap and three fuel. Yeah, I think I accept far too many surrenders. Alright, everybody's full health, all my systems are fine. Oh yeah, I can't upgrade here because it's a danger sector. I was thinking, wow, I have so much scrap, I should probably upgrade my ship in some way. Forward scout, powering up their FTL to warn the fleet. That would probably cause them to... Um... To something. Wait. Um, so I had ion damage from the ion pulse from the previous fight, I believe. Um, words are hard. To overlap the exit beacon. I'm concerned that if they escape on this fight... Um, I'll have a tough fight at the exit beacon because the rebel fleet will catch up. But, uh, we can probably just, like, disable their engines entirely. Wow, three dodges. I guess we've got that ace pilot we picked up at the store. 
we're staying one step ahead and we can upgrade. Let's get another rank of shields, some buffer points. No. <laughs> Hacking too? I don't want to spend all the money. I think this is good for now. Three point shield. I would like maybe another crew still. Oh. We could buy a slave. Or attack the slavers, and then if they surrender, they offer you the slave. Uh, whenever a slaver surrenders, it's always an offer of a crew member. Not necessarily the same crew member you saw for sale. Yeah, I'll buy them. They've got engine skill. Do they have more engine skill than nausea? No. You can man the doors. To level our doors. To level three doors, effectively. Alright, next sector. And I guess I'm splitting the part two. Let's continue with the rebel control stuff, because it's working. And I don't want a nebula, because I'm really dependent on my stuff being powered on. Alright. Many alien settlements and stations that are located here that are being watched by almost an equal number of rebel bases, heavy handedly keeping the peace. So, yeah, splitting the part. Next part, Sector 6. See ya!